Football has rules. If you break the rules, you can see the free kick and maybe get a card. But there are also unwritten rules which are as important because if you break an unwritten rule, you might just become the most unpopular player on the pitch. So here's a few of the unwritten football rules that every player needs to know. Number one is that if you score against your old club, you don't celebrate wildly simply out of respect. And okay, it's a bit of a grey area, but if you score against your old team and you had a good relationship with the fans and maybe even some of the players who are still there, you tone down your celebrations to show them respect. Now, you might also feel less appreciative about your old team and want to stick it to them, but unless you want stuff hurdled at you, don't do, and Emmanuel Adebayor and run the full length of the pitch to mock your old fans. One of the oldest unwritten rules is that if a player is down injured, you kick the ball out for a throw so the bench can come and attend to him. Even more importantly though is the fact that the team with the throw in then gives the ball back to the team that kicked the ball out. Actually, in 1999, it went as far as an FA Cup match between Arsenal and Sheffield United being replayed because Arsenal had ignored the unwritten rule and Arsene Wenger had offered to replay the whole match because of that supposedly unsportsmanlike behavior. Another unwritten rule that every footballer needs to know is that if you're playing a smaller, worse team and you're smashing them, you don't excessively celebrate some of the later goals. 1-0, 2-0 and okay, maybe 3-0 is cool, but when it becomes clear that you're destroying the other team, there's an unwritten rule of sportsmanship that you tone things down when you get goal number 6, 10 or even 13. Listen, football is a game of mutual respect and if you're the better team, you should also act like it. And speaking of respect, one of the most commonly known unknown rules that everyone follows is to shake hands after the match no matter the outcome. Imagine if you had a great match against an opponent and they just left your team hanging. Would you be mad? Of course you would. When the final whistle is over, show respect and acknowledge that the other team gave their best, just like you did. Finally, there's something that can seriously rub people the wrong way, and that's the rule about scoring tapping goals. First off, you don't stop the ball on the line and go down on all fours to tap it in with your head. You just don't. Secondly, if your teammate has done most of the work and you just finish the goal off, the official, unofficial, unwritten rules of football clearly say that you celebrate by acknowledging his or her performance, not by running to the corner flag to show everyone how much of a boss you are. Be cool and no one's gonna be mad. So there we are my friends, five unwritten rules that every football player will know. And uh, if you didn't, well now you do. So try not to break them, yeah? Because if you do, I guarantee you someone will let you know immediately. But are there other unwritten football rules that every player should know? Tell us in the comments down below and then remember to subscribe with the notifications on before you go learn some wicked football skills in the playlist in the bottom of your screen. And with that said, I'm signing off. Cheerio.